This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. If you or a loved one has diabetes, pay very close attention. Poor circulation, also known as peripheral arterial disease, is the greatest cause of leg amputation in diabetics. Unfortunately, this problem goes undiagnosed far too often. Here is a typical scenario I have seen way too often in my office over the years. A new patient will come in with a gaping wound in their foot and I will ask them if they've had a complete vascular workup, including examination, screening, and testing, and they will say no including patients who have had diabetes for many, many years. Usually I'm pretty flabbergasted, but now I'm at the point where I've seen it too much and I just have to take action. Too many patients have told me over the years that the extent of their vascular workup has been just a simple routine examination, including just getting their feet looked at, maybe the doctor even put hands and felt the pulses. That, my friends, is not enough. You wouldn't expect a cardiologist to just listen to your heart and determine whether you have a heart attack risk, or you wouldn't expect a neurologist just to put fingers on your carotid pulse and determine your risk of a stroke. We need much more than that. The process of peripheral arterial disease in the feet with diabetes is the exact same process that causes many heart attacks. That's the buildup of plaque in the arteries. Diabetes accelerates the process of the buildup of plaque in arteries. Over time, that artery plaque builds up and causes a decrease in the flow of blood through the vessel lumen or the tube. Think of it like the gunk and hair that backs up the bathroom sink. Over time, that decrease in blood flow causes a loss of nutrients and oxygen to the tissues and tissues past the plaque will begin to die. That's how we get the formation of some ulcers, loss of skin and other tissues, gangrene, and eventually amputation. When it comes to diabetes, a routine examination of the feet for poor circulation is not enough. I use a handheld Doppler ultrasound to listen to the blood flow and to record waveforms so I can get a better idea of what's going on with that patient's blood flow. Here I am using the Doppler ultrasound on a patient with diabetes who came in with significant skin changes of his lower legs and feet. Okay, so you have a lot of swelling in your feet? Yeah. All right. So it's very hard for me to feel the pulses in your feet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my little machine here and listen to your blood flow, okay? Yeah. And then my assistant Alexa is gonna come in and do another test on your circulation. Mm -hmm. The ultrasound gives me much more information than just putting my hands on the feet and feeling for pulses. If the ultrasound findings are abnormal, I move the patient on to the next level of testing. That's pulse volume recordings, where we take blood pressures from the arms and several segments of the legs and foot to determine where the blockage may be. Those findings are then sent to a vascular specialist who will then determine what the next level of care will be whether it be just medication or a procedure or a combination of those. Self-awareness and self-examination are very important for you to determine your risk of peripheral arterial disease. Here's what you should look for. Number one, thick toenails. Number two, shiny skin. Number three, the loss of hair on the toes of the feet. And number four, cold feet. So if you have diabetes, you should get a complete vascular workup with testing at least once a year. A routine examination does not give the doctors enough information to determine your risk of amputation. So advocate for yourself. If you go to see a healthcare provider and all that person does is look at your feet and maybe feel your pulses and say that your vascular status is A-OK, -okay, don't accept that at face value. Demand a complete vascular workup. Things can be missed 
by what the doctor thinks may be going on or what they assess by just a simple examination. Get a complete vascular workup so we can determine what is going on deep inside so that things can be taken care of ahead of time before disaster strikes. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Share it with your family and friends. If you leave a comment or a question, it may be featured in a future video. But most importantly, take care of your feet.